So friends, let me move on to DI number 15. So friends, here they have given a line chart and also they have given a pie chart, right? So in the line chart, they are completely talking about income of the family. So starting from 1970 till 2010, they are talking about income of the family, friends. I think the income of the family is gradually increasing. So in 1970, the income will be 45,000, but in 2010, the income of the family is 3 lakh okay so friends next is pie chart friends in the pie chart they are talking about expenditure of the family for the various years that is travel 11 percentage rental 33 percentage food 25 percentage so similarly five different uh, expenditures is given so friends i think this complete chart is based on the concept called income and expenditure so friends let me move on to all the five different questions based on this chart so what is the percentage increase in the income of the family from the year 1980 to 2010 Friends, listen here, friends. Here we have found the word percentage increase. Friends, starting from DA number 1 till DA number 14, I am repeatedly saying one concept that if in the given question, if you find what percentage, what percentage more, what percentage less, percentage increase, percentage decrease, then definitely the given question will be in some format. Here we have found the word percentage increase, friends. So the formula for percentage increase, that is final year, minus initial year divided by initial year into 100 so friends we know that initial year will be 1980 because we need to find what is the percentage increase income of the family from the year so we can say that initial year will be 1980 and the final year will be 2010 and they are talking about income of the family so friends final year which is 2010 where 2010 income of the family will be 3 lakh right so this can be written as 3 lakh minus of initial year where initial year is 1980 so in 1980 the income of the family is 60,000 so friends divided by where initial year that is 60,000 into 100 so friends I think the 3 lakh minus 60,000 will be 2 lakh 40,000 so 2 lakh 40,000 divided by 60,000 into 100 so friends i think when we cancel this will be four times because six into four will be 24 so four into 100 will be 400 percentage so friends finally we got the answer that is 400 percentage which is option number a will be your answer question number two so in the year 2010 the amount that is spent on food is divided into three such a way that the amount that is spent on a is twice that of b and the amount spent on b is one by third of c so what is the amount that is spent of A, right? Okay. So friends, listen here, friends. Uh, they are saying that the, in the year 2010, the amount that is spent on food is divided into three. So first of all, let me do one thing. In the year 2010, what is the family income, friends? So family income will be three lakh, right? Okay. So friends, out of this three lakh, where the food is in the expenditure, that is 25 percentage. So friends, out of this three lakh, they are spending 25 percentage for the food. I think 25 percentage will be one by fourth, right? So one by fourth will be 75,000 friends. So friends, finally, I can say that in the year 2010, 75,000 is the amount that is spent on food. But they are saying that this 75,000 is divided into three, right? So let me assume that A plus B plus C. So this 75,000 is divided into three amount, that is A, B and C. I think they are spending the 75,000 into three different parts that is A, B and C. So friends, they are saying that A is twice that of B and B is one by third of C. Okay. So friends, let me do one thing friends. A is twice that of B. Okay. Let me assume that A is equal to two times of B and B is equal to one by third of C. Okay. So friends, from, from uh, given data, we need to find what is the amount that is spent on A, right? Okay, let me do one thing friends. We know that B is equal to 1 by 3 C, right? So let me convert the A in terms of C because if I convert all the expression in terms of C so that we can easily find what is the amount that is spent on C. Listen here friends, we have calculated B is equal to 1 by 3 C, right? So we can say that A is equal to 2 times of B. A is equal to 2 into, we know that B will be 1 by 3 C. So A is equal to 2 by 3 C okay so friends finally we have converted the term a in terms of c that is 2 by 3 c and we already know that b is equal to 1 by 3 c so friends i'm just going to substitute here where a is equal to 2 by 3 c and b is equal to 1 by 3 c and here it is c is equals to 75,000. i think now we can calculate easily because if i convert all the terms in terms of c so that we can easily find what is the amount that is spent on c right so friends uh, the lcm will be 3 right so when we take lcm will be 3 that is 2 and here it is 1 i think here it is 3c 
so friends finally we got 3 4 5 6 c divided by 3 so friends 6 c divided by 3 is equals to 75,000 so I think this will be 2 c right so 2 c is equals to 75,000 so c is equal to 37500 so friends finally we have calculated a value that c is equal to 37500 friends listen here we have found the amount that is spent on c which is 37500 but our target to find what is the amount that is spent on a right so we know that a is equals to 2 by 3 c because we have already calculated the 2 by 3 of c right so a is equal to 2 by 3 c and we found that c is equal to that is the amount spent on c is equals to 37500 i think we need to cancel this friends 1 3 is a 3 2 3 is a 6 reminder will be 1 that is 15 so 5 3 is a 15 0 0 so friends 12,500 into 2 will be 25,000 so friends finally we can say that the amount that is spent on a will be 25,000 I think which is option number C will be our answer so friends interesting question so the concept of the question is most important right in the year 2010 they are the amount that is spent on food is divided into three so first of all we have found what is the amount that is spent on food which is 75,000 so this 75,000 is divided into three right so a b and c the amount spent on a will be twice b and amount spent on b will be 1 by third of c and uh, my target is if i convert all the expression in terms of c so that we can find easily what is the amount that is spent on c similarly i have converted the b in terms of c and also i have converted the a in terms of c so finally we have found that the amount that is spent on c will be 37500 but our target to find what is the amount spent on a so we know that a is equal to 2 by 3 times of c and we know that c is equal to 37500 so finally we have calculated 25000 is the amount that is spent on a question number three so what is the difference between the total amount that is spent on rent to the total amount of clothing so friends listen here friends most important question we need to find the difference that is for total amount that is spent on rental what is the meaning of total amount that is for the complete year friends starting from 1970 till 2010 we need to find what is the total amount that is spent on rental to the difference of total amount that is spent on clothing so friends kindly don't follow the traditional method because if you follow the traditional method so we need to find what is the amount that is spent on rental in 1970 then 1980 then 1990 it is a lengthy procedure right so friends listen here friends rental we know that rental will be 33 percentage right so difference clothing so clothing will be that is 14 percentage cloths they are spending 14 percentage friends so 33 difference 14 will be 19 percentage will be difference but friends our target to find what is the total amount that is spent so friends listen here friends 19 percentage of the total income right from the year that is from 1970 till 2010 so let me do one thing add all the income friends in 2010 we know that 3 lakh in 2000 that is 1 lakh 50 thousand so 3 lakh plus 1 lakh 50 thousand will be 4 lakh 50 thousand so 4 lakh 50 thousand plus 90 thousand will be a 5 lakh 40 thousand so 5 lakh 40 thousand plus 60 thousand will be 6 lakh so 6 lakh plus 45 thousand will be 6 lakh 45 thousand so finally we can say that the total income of the family starting from 1970 till 2010 will be 6 lakh 45 thousand so from this 6 lakh 45 thousand our target to find what is the 19 percentage so friends this is the simplest way to solve this question right so 19 percentage i think uh, this 19 percentage can be written as 20 percentage minus 1 percentage friends this is also method or otherwise let me calculate like this so 19 by 100 into 645000 so finally we can cancel 2020 so friends we need to multiply 645 into 19 i think uh, here the number la all the last numbers are zero right oh my god okay so 9 by 45 a reminder will be 4 so 9 4 are 36 36 plus 4 will be 40 right so the reminder will be 4 so 9 6 are 54 54 plus 4 will be 58 so 5 4 6 so friends here it is 5 here it is 5 and we already know that the last number is 0 so friends finally we got the last three numbers should be 5 5 0 so friends here yeah, friends this option is eliminated this option is eliminated and also this option is eliminated we know that the last three numbers should be 5 5 0 so we can surely say that option number a that is 1 2 2 5 5 0 will be your answer question number four so what is the total amount that is spent on rental and education 
friends listen here friends just now we have solved what is the total income of the family right they are asking that what is the total amount that is spent on rental and education so friends rental will be 33 percentage right so we can say that the total that is rental they have spent 33 percentage and also education will be 17 percentage friends so 17 percentage they have spent for education and the rental will be 33 percentage but our target to find what is the total amount spent that is we need to find what is the total amount spent for all the years right so friends i think just now in question number three we have calculated what is the total income of the family starting from 1970 till 2010 we have calculated the total income of the family that is 6 lakh 45 thousand in the previous question right that is 6 lakh 45 thousand so friends this is the total income of the family so out of this income our target to find what is the amount that is spent on rental and also in education right so 33 plus 17 will be a 50 percentage friends so 50 percentage of the salary that is 6 lakh 45 thousand so friends 50 percentage 6 lakh 50 percentage will be 3 lakh so 45 percentage that is 45 thousand half will be 22 lakh that is 22500 so friends finally we can say that 3 lakh 22500 will be the amount the total amount that is spent on rental and also in education so friends it is one of the easy question but listen carefully don't follow the traditional method for this question because if you follow the traditional method you can't able to crack this question within 30 or 15 seconds so friends if you find these types of question in the exams kindly don't use your pen and paper by seeing the computer itself directly try to answer the question so friends finally we got 3 lakh 22500 for question number 4